So here we are in Tappanock, which is just north of Ninglenilia and just south of Cebu City on Cebu Island. Um, as you can see, the, the building's gone into smoke, and you've got a makeshift building that I would presume is made of local timber with a mix of like plasterboard. And it's not actually plasterboard, it's uh, there's a, a certain brand name that they use. But the whole point is the structure of the building is highly flammable. And obviously next door you've got the barbecue station. Now it's very hard to see which buildings actually started this container. I think that building that's actually on fire is a new building. Because uh, there used to be, or maybe the one that's on fire, a massage parlour, uh, a blind massage parlour, allegedly. Um, but it looks like the fire is getting out of control quite quickly. Now one of the funny things, well, not so funny, is you can see that the people with motorbikes are not really bothered, because this is the motorbike parking at the Casano Mall. Um, there's still people even arriving with motorcycles, there's no urgency of moving the motorcycles out of the way, there's no thought about that actually being a potential fire risk, even though the one building's up in flames and the one next to it's about to combust as well. So currently they're waiting for something to happen. Um, so they're not really getting too involved, but they're going to start moving the motorcycles because it's now jumped to the building. Something they should have been doing five minutes ago. Because uh, obviously it's not one or two motorcycles, it's probably a hundred, <laughs> um, which isn't going to be easy to shift. Uh, but obviously now they could be in amongst the fire, we could move it. Um, a bit quicker. So, yeah, things are starting to happen. Now, I want to point out that this is actually on the car park of Gisano um, Mall. So, the mall actually has fire hoses, it's got its own fire equipment, etc. Um, but also, it's got guards which should actually be cornering this off and getting it cleared. Um, there's one of the guards now, but on the radio there. Um, but they, they want to get that corner cleared out um, and basically shut that down because there's a back road at the back there where people still come in and out. They, they want to shut the whole thing down and stop mo any movement from the back of the building because still people are going to come in because I don't know how big the fire is. Uh, although we can see it's on the front, it actually goes further back. You can't see how far the building actually stretches.
So it's now five minutes exactly according to my timeline um, from the video footage we've got until um, the first fire engine turns up. Now, bearing in mind a lot of fire equipment in the Philippines is, well, Caesar and maybe other areas might be a bit different, um, it's obsolete. Um, but also, it's a lot of time it's volunteers. Um, there was there was a major fire in the Mignanolia market before, and it must have been about 50, 60 engines in it eventually. Didn't stop the place burning down, but they did all show up. But as you can see here, it's a little too late. Um, the first building's gone, obviously, but it appears that they're trying to concentrate on the first building where the fire started when it should actually be trying to shut down the other ones the ones that are actually becoming a tinderbox because of the flames and then working back maybe I got that wrong um, but I can't see the point of going from where the fire has already burnt the place to bits when you've got smouldering coming out of a third building because um, I think it should actually be getting that cooled off before it started catching fire I just wanted to share this because I know some people think the emergency services are going to be there like a shot and all this sort of stuff. Here, here's a bit of information. Most houses in the Philippines have bars on their windows. Um, how do you get out in a, if there's a fire downstairs? Um, it's just a bit of a uh, pause for thought. Um, but also, the emergency services aren't that well equipped. Um, as you can see here, it's more of a token gesture. And, uh, and it's not their fault at the end of the day. You, you work with the tools you're given. They've turned up, they try to put it out. The other engines are on the way. You can hear the sirens in the background. But the big problem in the Philippines is people just don't move out of the way. I mean, I, I, I'm hoping some of these changes when the dirty starts moving in will sort some of these issues out because I think you should ram them off the road. I mean, in Germany, you do. Um, if you're obstructing emergency services, they've got every right to push you out the middle. When you hear that siren, you're supposed to get out of the way. Um, because they're going to things like this. Um, so, well, I just want to share that so people can have a bit of a think. But also, look at how many people rush to get water to stop the fire spreading at the beginning. They were all there with their smartphones. Thanks for watching.